Welcome, Jujutsu Kaisen fans, to an exhilarating journey into the world of cursed techniques. We know the damage the latest season has done, and we all cannot wait for the next arc. For now, we will be deep diving into some of the strongest techniques in this verse, and spoiler alert, we are definitely discussing new sorcerers that are yet to be introduced, so keep on watching this video if you cannot hold it in. First up, we have our biggest Jujutsu heartthrob, standing 6 feet 3 inches tall, Gojo Satoru. As you all know, a sorcerer is born with an innate curse technique, and the Gojo clan possesses one of the strongest out there, and that is Limitless. Well, Limitless allows the user to manipulate space down to the atomic level. The technique is further divided into three parts, namely Infinity, which allows Gojo to basically become untouchable by stopping things, but more accurately, it slows everything and anything approaching him. Then there is Curse Technique Lapse, Blue, which basically is like Pain's power of pull, but on steroids. Blue allows Gojo to create a vacuum in any space, and depending on his cursed energy output, he can create a pseudo-black hole that attracts everything towards it. The third part in the series, Cursed Technique Reversal. Red, which is like the opposite of blue. Think of Pain's almighty push, but on steroids. Again, it's actually a more powerful technique than blue, and allows him to create an extremely repulsive force. Lastly, we have the most non-standard technique, Hollow Technique, Purple. This is allegedly the most powerful technique out there in terms of destructive ability in the JJK universe, which is formed by fusing laps and red together, creating an imaginary mass that eradicates the very existence of any particle it touches. This bastard is not only beautiful, but extremely powerful too. Guess Gaga had weird power fantasies growing up. Well, we discussed the strongest sorcerer of the current times, but now let's talk about the strongest sorcerer in history, Ryumen Sukuna. You'd think that Sukuna, feared as the strongest in history, would have a technique more powerful than Gojo, more sophisticated than Gojo, or just absurd in every way imaginable. But no, Sukuna wields the power to cut. Yeah, that's right. The guy has crazy but absolute ways of cutting, and they are so powerful that he is probably the only being in JJK universe that took Maharaga down. But now, let's stop disrespecting the goat and call his technique for what it is. A slash. The two slashing techniques he uses are Dismantle and Cleave. Dismantle is Sukuna's default range slashing attack, which is great for inanimate objects, but also effective against cursed spirits and sorcerers. Then we have Cleave, probably his strongest slashing attack, which adjusts depending on the target's toughness and cursed energy level, which is also part of his domain expansion. Malevolent Shrine. The only difference is... If Sukuna activates this technique without using his domain, he has to physically touch the target to use this technique. He can also use a variant of this technique called Spider Web, which basically allows him to cut down large surfaces on touch in the shape of a spider web. These two techniques are so simple, yet what makes the King of Curses truly strong are so many other things, but that will be left for a later video. Now, for those of you who haven't read the Culling Game arc, Spoiler alert! The next character in line is probably a contender for having one of the most broken techniques, but it is definitely number one in being the craziest. Enter Kinji Hakari. The first thing to know about Hakari is that he is your typical Japanese bad boy. A good-for-nothing high school dropout doesn't care about the rules and regulations and delves into his own passion strongly, the passion being gambling. One of the fascinating things about JJK are the complex and well-thought-out logics and rules for cursed techniques, and Hikari's technique is one of them. We won't go into the extreme depth and possibilities of Hikari's technique, as that is a whole topic in itself, but the cool thing about Hikari's technique is that his domain expansion is tied to his innate technique, and it's a very unique domain for that matter. Unlike other domain expansions where the sure hit technique is guaranteed to hit, in this case Hakari's opponent has to play a pachinko game, and if the odds are in Hakari's favor, Hakari gets to be in an unkillable mode where he has unlimited curse energy for four minutes. His cursed energy is literally in auto mode, and not even a blow to the brain would kill him. Once the four minutes are over, he can unleash his technique again, and theoretically, he can keep on going into his unkillable state. Truth is, this isn't even the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Jujutsu Kaisen. There are so many other characters remaining that we haven't discussed yet, but stay tuned for part two as we will go deep into more characters. 
If this is your type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all anime-related content such as this. We'll be back with another part. See you soon.